Hi, I'm Heather. I'm Haley. And we're the Who Done It Sisters, a Kansas City true crime podcast. This episode is on Jonathan Johnson, and this is what we know. At 4 a.m., Faye Huddle left to buy cigarettes, leaving her five children home alone, sleeping in their beds. When she returned 10 minutes later, her four year old son, Jonathan Johnson, was gone. Police brought in bloodhounds to search for Jonathan, and special cameras were used to look inside nearby sewer lines. No trace of Jonathan was found. Nine days after being reported missing, the police released a statement asking for the public's help in locating Jonathan. Police said they did not believe he had been abducted, but had no theories of his disappearance. On May 26th, 15 days after Jonathan was last seen, the body of a little boy was found two blocks from Jonathan's home. The little body was wearing a shirt that matched what Jonathan was last seen wearing, his shorts lying nearby on the ground. The police made a statement that if the body were identified as Jonathan, the case would be considered a homicide and they would investigate who was responsible for his murder? The body was so badly decomposed, it took the medical examiner four days to make an identification. And on May 30th, the body was formally identified as that of four-year-old Jonathan Johnson. His cause of death has never been determined. The medical examiner believed Jonathan died around the time he was reported missing. Police said evidence at the scene led them to believe he was placed there after their search. Despite their promise to conduct a homicide investigation, Jonathan is not listed on the Kansas City Cold Case Homicide Database. Why is that? Good question. And that's all the information? That's it. So we don't know who else was in the home? According to the, uh, the articles, it was the mom uh-huh. and four other children. The, and the, do we know the age of the children? No. Because uh-uh. it was someone they know. When Jonathan went missing and the, and the police asked for help, only the Kansas City Times wrote an article about him. The Kansas City Star never picked up on it. And then after his body was found... Then newspaper articles were written about him. So it wasn't important. To him. That had been a blonde-eyed, blue-eyed little girl. Oh hell yeah! Four years old, mm-hmm. missing. Mm-hmm. You better believe that they would be asking the public's help. Nine days before they come forward and say, "Oh, by the way, we need your help looking for this child who has no barefoot." Who wasn't abducted, by the way. He just poof disappeared out of the home. Who? A child doesn't just drop dead. They don't have heart. You know, his typically. Clothes beside him his pants were off so i mean was he sexually abused i think so right where did this happen kansas city kansas kck so 1986 freaking screwed up but then okay so then my question about the bloodhounds so did they even go that direction how can bloodhounds not yeah bloodhounds would have picked up on it that's why they said they think he was placed there after where was he then that he was still somewhere it was he was two blocks away next to a church Residential area. That makes that right there makes no sense either. You're right, unless they really didn't use a bloodhound. I mean, they had to have though. They said they got the bloodhounds from the uh, the a penitentiary in Kansas, Lansing, I believe. Or I don't know. I would think bloodhounds would pick up on yeah, it because they can pick up on when they go into a car, you know, and then it's All right. actually I heard they can actually pick up a scent while they're in the car. Yes, they can follow it down the road. Yeah. Is what I've heard too. So. But being gone 10 minutes to buy cigarettes, I just, it's hard to believe that somebody would just go into your home, no. especially not a stranger, Yeah. No, and then take no. one particular child. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking mom's protecting one of the children. I think a, a sibling did it. Possibly, or boyfriend. <laughs> Whether or not he was murdered, his body was still placed there. And I think that it would, you know, that should have been investigated. As a homicide, I mean... Yeah, it was a homicide. Child forgotten. 
if if anybody who lived in that neighborhood in Kansas City, Kansas, or they know of the families, or they've heard of anything about this mm -hmm. case, heard people talking. If you're a sibling, mm -hmm. um, family member, please please call the tips hotline so we can know you know exactly what happened to Jonathan, this poor little four year old boy. He's forgotten, and it just really breaks my heart. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.